Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here and I'm excited to start today off with our day six of our My Love is Sweet campaign. So if you have missed any of the past days, this has been our uh, sixth day in a row where I come and share with you a project and I am focusing on spreading that love. Today is gonna be sweet and simple and obviously they always are, um, but this one will be a little bit sweeter. Today is Monday. Mondays are a little different day for me actually. It is something where I work all day long on the computer on Zooms, teaching and training um, my team and also some fellow demonstrators. And so it's my elite mastermind day. And I'm on the computer for probably six hours straight, but I'm taking a 15 minute break to come in and pop in here with you to show you today's Love is Sweet project. So I believe that it's something that maybe some of you have seen and maybe some of you haven't, but this was, this rocked my world this week. So I wanna share that with all of you. So I'm gonna point you down, hello. I know usually I chat a little bit more, but I don't have time to chat today. So if you're watching on the replay, thank you. If you're here live, I'm so glad that you're here too. So um, have, has everybody been able to watch the last five days? So we're on day six, and I'll be here tomorrow with day seven as well. So um, if you have, which, which has been your favorite project? Hello, all of you. I'm coming a little bit later, um, obviously. Today, actually, I don't take a lunch break because I have to work all day on the computer. But um, So I'm just popping in when I have a quick 15 minutes that I can show you. So the last couple videos have just been pre-recorded videos, but this one I wanted to join in live too. So I'm gonna point you down so that we could jump in and get started. Again, um, I'm so grateful. A lot of you do watch this on the replay. A lot of you watch it live. I just love that you spend this time with me and especially right now focusing on that love, right? So let me see, I think I've cut most things. Um, we're going to start off with a half a sheet of our basic thick white. Oh, some of you are all up to date, awesome. Um, they are quick and simple projects and hopefully you've had some time to make them. That's the big thing. To make them and then use them and spread them as love to people, that's what we're doing here. Um, we all need a little bit of love right now. And then I have a piece of our true, oh gosh, I don't even know what it's called. So let's do a little digging. Um, I think it's love always, true love, um, something. It is on low inventory. So if you buy it right now, you might be able to get it. But if not, um, it's, it might go on back order. But it's really, it's true love. I was right. So the true love designer series paper. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's black and white. My friend Tammy is watching and she loves black and white too, just, just like I do. All right, we're going to take this piece of the True Love Designer Series paper and we are going to um, glue that down. There's something I had to look here. We're gonna glue that down to the front of our card. Um, the card structure on this is really simple. The, I, I think this does have a wow factor to it, but it'll be in a second, I'll show you. Um, this, I'm taking just our white tulle ribbon I was gonna take our black sequin ribbon, not sequin, our black sparkle ribbon, but I left it at my desk. So, but look, the, the white tulle ribbon goes with everything. I'm just gonna wrap that around here and tie it into a bow. So this week I was making pillow gifts for my retreat attendees. I wanted to show you so bad, but I don't like to ruin the surprise for my people who take the retreat. But I learned something new, or I should say I did something new, oh gosh. Uh, I'm trying to talk and tie bows at the same time is not always easy. Yes, thank you guys for sharing this video and for being here with me. That obviously shows me lots of support and love and I really, really appreciate that. All right, so I just tied some ribbon around there. The black sparkle would be awesome, but this white tool goes with just about anything, right? I went ahead and took um, the largest Stitch So Sweetly label, Shocker. You guys know I use it every single time. And then also I cut a piece of the basic white, um, which is two and a half by three and five eighths to go on there. So this is what um, we are, I like to monogram things for my retreat growers. So I monogrammed um, this, what a, a gift for them. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is, cause again, I want it to be a secret for all of the, all of my people that are taking my retreat. I like for it to be a little bit of a secret for them. All right, 
But I'm gonna take a piece of cardstock. I wanna take a piece of black, but I'm not seeing it up here. So I'm gonna take a piece of this Blushing Bride and we're going to just, I'm gonna cut off a strip of it and put it down to this. This is our foam adhesive. Um, so it has a little bit of lift to it. I'm gonna cut that off, just a little strip of it, and I am going to put that down to this piece. Now, I don't wanna lift off all of it. Um, I'm just gonna lift off just the piece that I want to do, and then I'm going to just, probably for the ease of this video, I am just going to cut, just cut that off of there. So um, we have these, who owns the Playful Alphabets? The Playful Alphabet is awesome. Um, it is the set of dies with all these really, every, every alphabet letter you can imagine and doubles of some of them. So when you want to monogram something, when you wanna make it, you know, pers personalizing something, truly takes your project to the next level, that you made it just for them. So we, um, so if you want to make a card for somebody, again, spreading love, you could actually put their name on it. Um, put some personal, you know, inside nickname you have for them or something, but personalizing it is really cool. I'm just gonna show you how to do this, and I'm going to spell out the word love. Of course, you guys could imagine. And I love this because it will tell you where to put it back at, which is, Great, so I don't lose them and I can find them so, so easy. So I am going to take the word love and where's that V? I know it's here. You guys are probably seeing it right away. And, oh gosh, it's on here. Oh, there it is, love. Okay, so I'm gonna take these cute little letters and I am going to, remember, I put this down to that adhesive backing because to try to glue these down can be tricky. There we go, whipping out my mini stamp and cut emboss machine. And we're going to run these uh, letters through here. And you can run it through with them already on this little adhesive foam piece. I didn't think it would cut, but I know people have been doing it and sure enough, it does cut and it actually cuts really, really well. So I'm gonna stick my love down there. Of course, if you were gonna personalize this for somebody, oops, I gotta go this direction you could um, spell out their name. You could do, I mean, like say there's uh, there's numbers in there too. So you could do like their age, their birthday, their anniversary, or celebrating, you know, someone being over 40 or whatever. And then this will cut out our letters. The letters fall right off of there, but then it pops them out. So they obviously have, um, they pop up. Now you would conserve your your paper and do these much better. I'm not in the conservation mode right now. Right now, I'm just trying to show you how, it, how to get it done. It put, so there we go. And look, it cut it out even with that on there. So now let's go back to our little card here. And um, I'm gonna use the stamp set uh, Hearts and Kisses, because again, it's all about spreading love, right? Um, you can seal it with a kiss. Um, there's a happy Galentine's Day which has confused some people, but that is like a very trendy term when girls celebrate Valentine's Day together versus always being, you know, um, it could be friends. So your gals, your friends. So it's happy friend day. So um, yes, these come in, you get like a thing of four of them. Uh, for my retreat, we had 120 people and we only used three of these for all 120 letters. So you will be able to get a ton of letters out of one sheet. So anyway, um, we're going to spell obviously the word love here and I have it all nice and done. I'm gonna glue them down here in just a second, obviously. Um, but I'm going to take my black across the bottom and using the XOXO, Look, I have this, I haven't even mounted it yet. That is, I, um, let me do that for you here since we're on live. You always pull the backing off and then you pull off the sticker and then it's positioned right on there. So I wanted that XOXO, hugs and kisses, love. I think automatically you think love when you, when you see that. And I'm gonna stamp that across the bottom of my little piece of white here. Because I am focusing on spreading love, that is the purpose of this card. 
Let's try that again. Rhonda pushed too hard and Rhonda rocked. So I'm gonna try to get this going straight across, just like that. So we have our little XOXO, which is basically, you know, obviously hugs and kisses. I'm gonna put that love, and again, I, it, I don't have to add any more glue. I don't have to mess with a little skinny, you know, um, glue stick. I don't have to use any of that. This makes it, and this gives it some, some depth. It gives it some stability. But these are great to um, do with any, actually. I'm doing it with letters, which is because it's really necessary with these. But you could do it with any of your dies that you want to have already sticky on the back. And so makes it, look at that. Now how easy it was for me to put that love on there um, because I already had that glue pre-done. So those are the foam adhesive sheets. All right, let me finish putting this together. I am gonna glue down my mistake so no one can see it, right? And put that down here on the front of my card. Look how sweet that is, so sweet. I'm gonna take a little bit of the, uh, um, this is on that Pampered Pets. Just because it says pets does not mean you can only use it with dog cards or cat cards. So I love this black and white um, twine. And I obviously love black and white when you um, mix it with any color. And the color I'm, I'm mixing this with was Blushing Bride. But obviously you could use any pop of color if you prefer purple or reds or blues or anything. But I'm using it with that. Okay, trim that off. Look how sweet, isn't that so awesome? And then it has that lift. Can you see how it already has lift? And then take our dimensionals. So those are foam adhesive sheets. They are in the catalog. Um, I'll, I, I can post the number, but I'm sure somebody on here might already be tricky on that. But it is just creates a really easy card. Now, love, look how sweet that is all put together. Last but not least, I'm gonna do what I did the other day, showing you a different direction. You need a one inch strip, and I'm gonna score it um, at, See, I'm gonna score it at five and a half. Um, nope, I'm gonna, let's see. I cut the wrong size piece of paper, so maybe I'm not going to do that. So, actually I'm going to. Let me, let me go run and grab another piece of white paper. Don't go anywhere, or you can leave if you want to, but I'll be right back. is all the way on the other side. I'm back. All right, so you wanna score this at two and a quarter, five and a half, and eight and a quarter. So I did this on the hot dog card, but I wanted to show you how really you could take any card at all and make it special by just adding this fun little touch to it. So um, this is definitely, we're making our cards love and pop. So there we go. And then you're going to put glue on your here and here. And you're just gonna go ahead and glue that down. Love, and it says hugs and kisses. So you could do hearts, but I think we need to do hearts and kisses, right? I would um, probably stamp those heart, the, the little um, hearts and stamp those. Take your piece of Blushing Bride and you could stamp those so they have a little bit more dimension, but take your little, take your little hearts and kisses and then you can add them to the inside of your card and that's what's gonna rainbow out at them. Put some little kisses there, right? Sprinkle on some of the hearts as well. And so they are full of the hugs and kisses. So this is so much like for your grandchildren. If you have grandchildren and you haven't seen them in a while, um, this is obviously for a girl, but you can do it in you know different colors. But let your loved ones know that you miss them and you wanna see them. And this is a perfect little card to do that, to spread some of that love. So we're just gonna sprinkle on. So when they open it up, you're gonna have the windfall of all of the hugs and kisses that are gonna be given to somebody. So when you first see this, you might think, oh boy, that's just the kissy face for a boy, but I don't think it is. I think this is hugs and kisses for all of 
your family, loved ones, friends, we, we all need that. And obviously, there you go. So love, you miss them, you love them, and then we're gonna give them lots of hugs and kisses, right? So there you go, there's today's card. Thank you for, for tuning along. Um, this is day uh, six of our Love is Sweet. Don't forget, if you want the adhesive holder, directions, video, and all the supplies, I have an ordering special going on um, that you spend over $50 or more, then I will send this to you about the eighth or ninth, um, along with two adhesives. So you're gonna get a whole set of dimensionals and you're gonna get the uh, liquid Tombow glue. But this is my Love is Sweet ordering special. And I hope you really enjoyed today's card filled with all kinds of hugs and kisses. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this and share it. But most importantly, I love it when you make these projects and then share them with me. Tag it, um, post them on your personal page, a business page, or wherever you're at, but make it. And you might do yours in totally different colors and sprinkle on something totally different but I really would love to see what you can do with it as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow for our day seven of the Love is Sweet.